Welcome to Oprah Frames and this is Gotham here. So today we're gonna talk about this new movie that has come out, Tanga Money. It's a, it's, a, it's a Malayalam movie again. I'm talking about Malayalam movies a lot. We will be pondering about a lot of other movies sooner or later, but we have just started. So I'm starting from somewhere. Malayalam industry seems to be, since it's my own kind and my industry, so, so I'm starting from there and we will proceed on to the rest of the movies, the rest of the talks. So stay tuned for sure. Today on this topic, we are going to discuss about the real story behind Tanka Money, the movie. So uh, we do have nowadays a trend of uh, real life stories coming up as movies in, uh, in uh, the Malayalam industry. So uh, this movie, uh, if you actually think about it, Tanga Mani is kind of like a feminine name in uh, the language of Malayalam. But at the same time, uh, this movie doesn't talk about a lady's name or a lady herself. It's actually also a place that is uh, located very close to Katapana in Kerala. And uh, it is uh, the, the place name itself is Tanga Mani. So uh, during the 1980s, uh, to be precise in 1986, uh, there was an incident that happened there which kind of like shook grounds of uh, politics of uh, Kerala and uh, it even changed uh, the outlook of uh, Kerala politics and it became one of the biggest biggest tragedies uh, which happened in Kerala. So this place Tanga Mani is uh, uh, during those times uh, in 1980s 1986 from, from Katapana towards uh, this place Tanga Mani there's been like uh, bus services which uh, usually happen from a certain point halfway through uh, towards uh, Tanga Mani there is a patch of road which was not tar or which was not in a very good condition so uh, because it was not in a good condition what some bus drivers they used to do or rather the bus service people what they used to do was to carry people from this place Katapana uh, and to the halfway point and leave them there and the rest of the journey was either done by walk or uh, probably through other means. The bus drivers uh, usually didn't take the bus all the way up till the final destination which is Tangamani. And it used to happen on a regular basis and things were all right, uh, people were not complaining much. But uh, at one point of time, students, obviously Kerala's political scene as you know, has always been uh, backed by student politics as well. So uh, student politics is a huge part of Kerala's political atmosphere. So because of which students are the first, I would say, the kind of people who reacts to so uh, societal problems even then and even now. Uh, because of which one of the students who actually was against the whole scenario that was happening, the bus name was Elite, the service name was Elite. So uh, the Elite bus, uh, when it stopped halfway through, started letting the passengers out to go all their way to their final destination. This student kind of like uh, came up and said like, I'm so sorry, this is not possible. It cannot happen and you have to take the bus all the way till Tangamani and you have to drop us there. The driver refused. It, it kind of started creating a friction between the local people and the bus service people. That kind of escalated into something completely different. So imagine how a small event can change even a political or social scenario of a, of a, of a state or even a country for that matter. In this situation, what happened was that the locals uh, supported the student and the student community started supporting them and then they forcibly asked the driver to take the bus all the way to the final destination, which is the place Tangamani. So it reached there like, and they asked the service team, the, the bus service team to keep doing this at all times, like to, to reach until the final destination at all times. But that created another friction and uh, because of that, the local people didn't let the, the bus um, uh, to leave from Tangamani as a, as a part of the protest. Um, that escalated things even more. So what happened was that the driver took all his uh, uh, people. He went to this place Katapana from where the service begins. Uh, he got the police force to come in to retrieve the bus, but the, but the locals didn't allow it. 
they were they were completely adamant that no way until and unless there is some kind of a you know decision being made regarding this uh, we need uh, we will keep the bus here that started a physical fight between the police and the locals over there so the situation is escalating step by step it's going into something that's uncontrollable and at one point of time police had to try and open fire so basically they they, they didn't fire at people but accidentally it hit one of the people who passed away uh, things are escalating even more now the things are going into such an uncontrollable situation where even people are not able to stop it the police is not able to stop it another person lost his legs like so in totality it was a huge disaster and it was a huge political uh, disaster as well because they were not able to uh, the political uh, team or the political party at that time couldn't uh, kind of like manage the whole situation so that kind of got out of hand so because of which uh, the whole place oh, went into went into uh, quite a bit of a disaster and uh, people were completely against the political scenario that was running around there and the congress party which was uh, ruling uh, kerala at that point of time lost the election and uh, the 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 left side of the party the, the leftist government came up and ek nayanar got into power after that so uh, in general what i'm trying to say is that this is what happened in uh, in this uh, this place known as tangamani so this is the background to which the movie tangamani is being made and the leap is coming in as the main uh, lead role in this movie and uh, i'm sure that this movie has a bit of a fiction into the whole story but at the same time even though the backdrop or the political backdrop is is real uh, i'm hoping that the movie also can live up to that standard and um, can kind of um, um, you know convincingly uh, prove uh, that it, it actually happened during that time and it actually uh, the the story i hope that the story transcends into something really really nice and that it's all inclusive in the right manner and not over exaggerated of something of that sort because sometimes it can happen but let's uh, let's hope that this movie is going to do well in the box office because dilip actually needs this box office hit um, because it's been some time that something uh, solid has come out from his end me as a movie buff um, um, in general is looking forward to this movie and uh, if if you guys do watch it please do let us know how do you feel about the movie in the comments below and uh, we will be coming up with more and more talks and not just about the malayalam industry but about a lot of other industries a lot of other movies uh, i as i said we have just started in the language of english uh, until now we were just discussing about uh, movies uh, from down south but uh, things are going to change we are going to discuss movies in general so please don't forget to subscribe uh please don't forget to uh press that bell icon because at the end of the day it's all about movies